time to de-dust the heater. Right, will be Rebels. Do I have two? No, four. Awesome. Will that fit? Yes, it will. I might have to cut. I might have to cut this one. And there we go. That, that looks good. That looks good. Thank you, Greg. I am finding perfect spots for these stickers. And now I got one right there. Awesome! Alrighty, so it is that time of the year to where I think it is time to start talking about the Ryobi One Plus propane heater. The model number for this unit is P3180. It goes up to 15,500 BTUs per hour. It's a one plus 18 volt system hybrid. And it produces up to uh, a little bit over 15,000 BTUs. Now this has, this is a double option when it comes to the type of tank that you could use. You could use the one pound tank that'll last you up to an hour and a half. And so, but this thing is, when it comes to using this, this isn't you know your, your long-term solution. This is if you're on the road, because when you have this attached, uh, this is this doesn't get any bigger. So you just uh, attach the one uh, one gallon tank to the back like that. No, sorry, the one pound tank to the back like that, and that's its size. And then you can just plug in your uh, cable, uh, your power cord, or your battery at the bottom. And so, oh, but this thing is a good portable unit when it comes to being able to use a one pound tank. Now I've, uh, I've, I had this, I had this for about a year and with my experience with it, it is, it, it does, it does the job, but it doesn't do the job well when it comes to heating up a big space. Now, you, as you can see, I have a single car garage. And my uh, windows and my garage door are even remotely sealed to keep the cold out. Cold seeps in here uh, through every crack that is linked to the outside, especially my garage door. I have a gap about uh, three quarters of an inch in most of in most spots that just air comes in. And so, but this unit was able to keep my garage tolerable. In negative 17 degree weather last year because we had a huge cold front to where it was with a wind chill like negative 40s for like about a month and this unit actually kept this place tolerable and this unit uh, helped me survive in the garage for the winter because I had to work on stuff so this is a forced air propane heater and the battery would last five hours of runtime when it comes to running the fan in here. Now the one pound propane tank won't last that long so all you need is one four amp hour battery then you're good on that end if you're going out and like you have an event to do and you want a little heater right next to you that will be portable where you don't need any attachments uh, or power just to do that uh, that event. Or if you're working outside this is significantly lighter than carrying around a 20 pound propane tank with a heavy attachment on top to uh, have your heat to have your heat source if you're working outside or if you're if or if you're traveling. This is only nine pounds, and I'm pretty sure it's 10 pounds with the one pound tank, and then add another pound for so 11 pounds for the entire unit compared to a 20 pound tank just by itself. In my situation with this garage, since my garage is not sealed, this thing is this thing does the trick. Uh, I'm not it's it's not cold outside right now. It's only in the 40s. You know, it's not in the uh, low 30s yet. So I do not need this right now. But I am going to add this to my intro. I, I'm trying to look for the C, uh, CFM on that fan because that's the only downfall of this propane heater. This, uh, the, the fan is not powerful enough. The, if the fan blew a little bit harder, the heat would travel a little bit further and it would heat up. It wouldn't heat up faster, but you the heat would just go farther so you could keep this uh, further away from you. Now, I we did have an event last 
uh, fall, no, spring. In spring, we had an event, and it was cold outside still. And I actually brought this with, and it actually, uh, it was at a golf course. Uh, golfers were coming towards us. They would see the heater. They'd warm up their hands. Just a quick warm up, just to uh, continue golfing, because there, there is there is no other relief in uh, when you're outdoors, you're completely outdoors in an open field on a golf course. So we were actually uh, because we had a booth set up uh, for our for our uh, for a brand, and golfers were actually coming to our booth to warm up their hands, and so then they would listen to us talk, you know, in return of warming up their hands. So we were the only booth that had that. So this thing came very useful at an event. All right, first we're gonna do a battery. Now it's tight. Power button on. Hold it for a few seconds. And there we go. Alright, so let's grab this. It probably this probably won't work because this only goes up to a certain So inside it is reading oh, at 600, above, it's above 600 degrees. I can turn this on. So yeah, but this little unit, it's, uh, it's, it's very easily portable. Very easily portable. So, and that's, and that's the, that's the unit. In a second, we'll talk about which hose you need for the 20 pound tank. Let that run for a little bit. Alrighty, so this this unit is gonna be very handy this winter. Again, and so, but the cable that you will need to uh, for this to support a 20 gallon, uh, sorry, a 20 pound tank is this one. It is uh, one pound uh, male to a 20 pound female. Uh, the model number for this hose is GHA1. This is the hose you need, the exact hose you need. And uh, and yeah, and so they do sell this at Home Depot. I did get this at Home Depot. So I know that when I was searching for this hose, I wanted to get the exact uh, hose I needed, and this is it. This does not come with this purchase. Uh, I think this was like 15 bucks, I think. And so yeah, but like I said, this is an efficient, uh, a very efficient, uh, propane heater and it does and it, it does the job and it does the job well now are there uh, like i said before are there better propane heaters out there yes but when it comes to the amount of btus this uh this burns up it it's it's may, way more efficient than uh the other ones because uh i can't afford to keep on uh, filling up the 20 pound tank every couple of days. I need a 20 pound tank to last me about a month and a half. So just, just because it, you know, like that, it's just going to be a uh, money blowing in the wind once that garage door opens. So, uh, so yeah, so this thing is good. I, I, I like this. Uh, that's why I still use it. That's why I did not get a different propane, uh, heater. So this propane heater kept up with it and it maintained keeping this uh, garage warm enough for me to be in here without being cold. So yeah, so yeah, winter is coming. So I just wanted to, because I, I, it was time to whip this out, put the air cannon up there. If I need a fan in here, I'll just grab my uh, my small one plus fan. One thing I gotta do this winter is the sanders are gonna get a lot of work because uh, we have a uh, dining room table. I'm gonna completely sand down to the wood 
and we're gonna restain it to match, sort of match the floor. So that's pretty much it. This has been the uh, specs and uh, demonstration of the Ryobi One Plus Hybrid Propane Heater. Model is P3180. This cost $100 at Home Depot. And yeah, it was not a waste of money. I love this thing. So this is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.